GTR. Everybody, I'm Dan Sindel, and welcome to segment three of Pachelbel's Canon in D Major. Today we're moving forward and continuing in our lesson series. Last week we looked at sections A and sections B, and today we're going to look at section C and section D. We're going to be using the EZ version of the ebook, and if you had not had the opportunity yet to download the ebook, as always, please go to www.ezgtr.com, sign up for the newsletter. We'll send you a link to download the ebook and that's what we're going to be using to study with today. Now before we get started, I always like to give credit where credit is due, and today I'd like to give an extra special warm welcome to Levy Leather Straps for coming on board to our video series and providing us with some of these amazingly beautiful leather straps. And if you haven't seen their new catalog, I definitely recommend you do because these things are awesome. Alright you guys, let's get busy and let's rock. Starting at measure 11, section C, we notice that we have four consecutive measures of groupings of sixteenth notes. And thankfully the tempo of the song isn't that fast, it's slow and expressive. So starting with measure 11, the first grouping, we have a D, C sharp, D, to the lower D. Then our second grouping has a C sharp, A, E, F sharp. Our third grouping starts with the D, D, to its higher octave, D, C sharp, B. Now four. The fourth grouping of measure 11, we're going to switch and move to our 14th position. A, D, F sharp, A. Okay, let's move to measure 12. We've got a G, F sharp, E, G, second grouping, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, then we've got a B, A, G, F sharp, and now for our fourth grouping, E, G, F sharp, E. Okay, so that measure sounds like this. Okay, let's move over to measure 13. Here, in the seventh position, we start with a D, D, E, F sharp, G, second grouping, A, D, e, A, G, third grouping, F sharp, B, A, G, fourth grouping, A, G, F sharp, E. Okay, so measure 13 will sound like this. Measure 14 will start on a D. D, D, to the B's higher octave, B, C sharp, grouping two, D, C sharp, B, A, grouping three, G, F sharp, E, B, grouping four, A, B, A, G. So measure 14 will sound like this. So we ended on that G note. 
As we move into measure 15, our first note, which is an F sharp, we're going to treat that as part of the last phrase from the last grouping of 16th notes for measure 14. So if we look back to the last four notes of measure 14, we have an A, B, A, G. Then we're going to get that F sharp in there. So it sound like this, A, B, A, G, F sharp. Then we have a chance to take a little breath and switch to our 14th position and play the higher octave F sharp to an E. We have a chance to take a little breath. We have an eighth rest and we're going to play a D to an F sharp. Now for our 16th measure, move up to our B note on the 19th fret. A, B, C sharp on the 21st fret. Now if you notice here in the little text it says bend 21st if you've got a strat. I especially played my strat today just to get past this little hurdle. So what you want to do if you have a strat, you just play the C sharp on the 21st fret and bend up a half step to get that D note. Now obviously if you've got a Les Paul or a Gibson style guitar with 22 frets, you just go ahead and play the D note. Then we're going to move to our lower octave of the D, so we're going to do that little bend again and play D to C sharp. Then we have a chance to take a little breath on the eighth rest. We're going to play the B to the D note. Then we're going to play D again on bar 18. D, D, G, E, A. All right, before we finish today's lesson, I want to go back to the beginning of section D, bar 15, and go ahead and play the last phrase for you. And what I'm really going to do is I'm going to go back just four sixteenth notes, the last grouping of measure 14. All right, here we go. Alright you guys, that concludes today's lesson. Next week we get to move into section E and that's where the main chorus of the song is and it's going to be really fun and exciting to get into that part. Keep the emails, keep the comments coming, and subscribe to the video and of course an extra special thanks to Levy Leathers and we'll see you guys soon.